Today we're going to Seattle, one of the cities I've always wanted to go to. You may remember previously on the channel I went to Tacoma, but I never got to go to Seattle. It's time to change that. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing very well. Thank you so much for picking me up all the way out here. Okay. to see the Space Needle and also follow some tips by my friend Shelly Saves the Day. Shelly, thank you for this list. I'm going to do my best to do some of them. Going to Seattle for me personally has been one of those things I wanted to do since I was a little kid. I always love city skylines, so getting to see it is going to be amazing. Let's go. the airport gonna take the light rail system to get to the space meet. Let's go. Can't say I didn't see that coming. The height of flavor. You know while I'm traveling, have you been to Seattle or the space meet? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to what you all have to say. Let's go to the train. I wish it was still a dollar. And up we go. Everybody's going to take us about 41 seconds here in the elevator, going up at 10 <laughs> miles an hour. These will all be windows right behind me. You're looking off to the west. Woo! Now we're going up to the observation deck at 520 feet. That's out of our total height of 605 feet. It's equivalent to about 60 stories or 184 meters. Now we were built back in 1962 for the World's Fair, and that was held all below us on the Seattle Center. Most of the buildings down below are from the World's Fair, including the monorail as well. Now, its theme was imagining life in the futuristic 21st century with man in the space age, and that's how we got the name Space Needle. Now, up top, there's indoor and outdoor viewing decks as well as a cafe. There'll be a beer and wine bar as well on the glass floor level. That'll just be underneath the observation deck. The big staircase leads you right to it, and that's where you get the elevator to go all the way back down. Here we are at the top, everybody. Have a good time. Thank you. It is many hours later and seeing the Space Needle, seeing Seattle for the city that it is, getting to do all the different forms of public transportation, and getting to share this experience with you has really made me appreciate this city even more. I mentioned it briefly at the top of the needle, but for me, I've always really enjoyed those city skylines and it's a small dream seeing Seattle, seeing the stuff that I wanted to see. And sometimes you have to focus on those small dreams, they remind us of what we are, who we are, and things we can reasonably reach for and get. And for me, today was hitting one of those goals, but I'm here for a larger purpose. That being Seattle YouTube Day, which we are going to do tomorrow, and I'm super excited for that. Shelly Saves the Day, as I mentioned earlier in this, has given me a list, I'll put that in the description below, of some really cool places you should check out if you're ever in Seattle. If you're watching this center from Seattle, what are your need to do's in this city? That being said, I'm going to call it a night. I've had a long day of traveling, got to see the needle, haven't done much else. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out the Tacoma vlog series I did with my best friend, Pat. If you enjoy other travel videos, consider checking out my travel playlist. I'm Andrew Kant, and if I can, you can too.